Greetings, Scripture here, Raid Shadow Legends, free to play, and we are main account, um, and this is continuation from Hell Hades uh, challenge for 2024. Um, I cannot show which day we are, but uh, in, in, before uh, four months, because there is a lot of energy there, so I don't want to collect, uh, because I'm taking part of the um, fusion, so I'm waiting with this energy to start Dungeon Divers. Okay, uh, besides that, uh, huge, huge news, uh, so I managed to clear Doom Tower Heart. Okay, and um, yeah, so to, to, to maybe explain what's going on here and to give you some kind of idea if you are struggling with this boss. Yeah, so I was struggling with this boss for the last three days. Yeah, uh, so what was my team here? Um, I think best teams, right? So here we got, uh, that's my team. Mm, so Brogni, uh, Weaver, um, I think that's the, her name, uh, Ankora, Ratalos, and Sinesha. Why Sinesha? And generally, what's, what's the deal here with this boss? So this is uh, top level um, dungeon, so you need a lot of stats. Uh, so for that, uh, um, to, to, to resist uh, debuffs from the boss, you need like 450 resistance uh, to reach uh, those, uh, to, to be able to resist. So I had to rebuild a little bit my champs. <coughs> um, so mostly, whoever uh, she got this uh, new um, banner with resistance, so now she's um, f almost uh, 350. But uh, we're getting additional resistance from a Brogni uh, Aura, so 60 additional. And we get additional uh, resistance from Aria bonuses, uh, so here we got additional 24. So if we will go back to Doom Tower and check the presets that I prepared for this one. I'm not sure if this will show. Uh, probably without aura uh, yeah uh, so with uh, aura it will be uh, 450 at, at least i think yeah so that's the idea uh, here to have a good resistance uh, so brogni yeah brogni resistance is not the, the highest also in Korea will have a good resistance um so Rotalos for the damage, so do those two uh, debuffs, remover and healers, even reviver, and Sinesha. Yeah, so Sinesha is an uh, interesting thing. So while I was doing my research, uh, I uh, found uh, from, um, one video from Corret Place. So Corret was uh, talking about uh, Sinesha and I was thinking, why, uh, why is she good here? Yeah, so, and this is, uh, yeah, her A2, uh, so she will put uh, all skills on cooldown, all skills on cooldown, uh, which is interesting, um, and this boss will, uh, the, the Eternal Dragon, have a really nasty skill, so maybe um, stop talking and let's go to the fight and see how this will work. Uh, so... We'll go uh, through the waves, so waves should be pretty easy, so I'm not using, I should not use any um, buffs here, but we'll see. So mostly A1s, A2, that's what you want to use, so if we will reach uh, the boss, uh, the order of actions is very important, so and worth to mention, speed of the Eternal Dragon this level is 250, which is very huge, a lot of speed, so he's almost to, to start his turn, uh, but I built uh, Sinesha with uh, over 250 speed and good accuracy to land her ability here, so let's check if this is working, yeah, it's working. So both uh, A2 and A3 skills from uh, Eternal Dragon, they are on cooldown already, so he will be only using uh, at the time A1. Uh, so this one will uh, put uh, block active skills. 
So he can put block active skills on Brogni, Sinesha and uh, Ratalos, but uh, hopefully uh, Weaver and uh, Ancora will clear those debuffs. Unfortunately, I messed up and Ancora is a clear is on, on um, cooldown. So let's try, but uh, Weaver uh, clear is up. Remove all debuffs and heal. Yeah, so let's use that. So now we can use other skills. So now Brogni. Brogni will uh, use his A3, so put block debuffs. So if anything bad uh, will come uh, from Dragon, we'll try to resist. Maybe block this, no, not resist. Um, Sinesha now, so maybe A1 to do some damage. Yeah, so now we got block uh, debuffs, buff, so which is good. So now A1. It will be a little bit longer fight, I think, but uh, I think I need to do some damage, at least some. And and why I was struggling with this, so I had a very similar composition, but Brogni was without uh, without uh, his uh, blessing, and now we got blessing on him. Uh, and I g give him uh, Brimstone, so now he can do uh, Smite debuff right now. Yes, so that's what, what's the idea here. So I can um, do some damage passively by just uh, this passive uh, ability. Okay, we killed uh, s s um, Priest, so Priest is... So generally, all, all you need to do is uh, kill the priest to avoid, make sure that he will, dragon will not use his uh, um, passive. Okay, so what's now? Um, both uh, skills are on cooldown, so we don't need to use uh, Sinesha A2, so block debuffs again. A little bit slow but you need to be very careful what you're doing so this is manual fight most of the time okay so now let's boost a little bit Rotalos with increased attack and speed and crit uh, I mean crit damage so now we could uh, yeah put those cooldowns to 3-3 yeah so that that's very good let's put increased defense now let's put HP burn, hopefully, yeah. We got HP burn, we got increased attack, so Ratalos is with uh, full mode to do some damage, hopefully. Okay, so now let's try. Okay, very good damage. Uh, we don't need to use uh, a school crown, no, no, Sinesha. Uh, Sinesha A2 because of the cooldowns. They are still up, uh, so let's maybe clear and heal a little bit. Uh, block debuffs again. And again we can... what we can do... Yeah, let's try. Kill the adds if possible. Okay, so now we'll need to put his skills on cooldown because we got uh, the, the counters and R11, so let's extend them yeah so free free very good uh, put some defense up and Ratalos once again yeah so we reached uh, break through 50% of his uh, HP so let's continue so I'm using a one from Alancora because she has a chance to reset cooldowns of random champion which is very good okay so got some damage here um nothing here so let's try to put hp burn that's good unfortunately yeah so one one so we'll get we'll get some damage uh, probably so let's equalize uh, health so that, that's also good from Sinesha so she's able to equalize the health team to heal your team a little bit um, so now let's what you can do 
Uh, yeah, maybe this. It's a bit healing. Do some damage. Okay, okay, I'm getting close. Uh, maybe some. Yeah, HP burn again. Need to watch out. We're really close. I don't see a lot of brimstone, unfortunately. Uh, let's put some increased defense, some damage. I'm trying to force damage the the boss while we are still alive. Getting close. Again, HP burn maybe. Okay, we got uh, smite and debuff again. So he will use his active ability. Okay, and we are done. Perfect. Yeah, so the, more or less that's uh, even the, this is better run than my previous. Uh, pretty safe run um, without decrease attack even. Uh, yeah, so this is doable. So Sinesha here is very um, good champion for that, just to disable uh, this boss um, skills. Yeah, and that's why I got additional secret because that's the reward uh, here. And we got this, um, where is it? This banner, I think this one, uh, or, or icon uh, for your account. Uh, so yeah, happy with that, uh, good progress. Yeah, so we are ready uh, with Doom Tower on the rotation two. Um, so the next uh, phase of this account will be to clear uh, next rotation, but still we have a few more days like free or something to prepare for the next rotation so that's good so we got all resources from here and we are ready to go so thank you for watching uh, if you want to see more stay tuned and see you in the next one cheers